Hi, this is Munson from Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song called Chapel of Love by the Dixie Cups. And we're going to start off with kind of that a cappella chorus, actually. We're going to start on a D major chord, and we play D major. First finger is the G on the second fret, second finger on the high E on the second fret, and third finger on the B string on the third fret. And if you show them the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the D major on our, on our intro chorus, we go into an E minor chord. Play E minor. First finger goes to the A on the second fret, second finger on the D string second fret, and if you strum all those together, that sounds an E minor chord and it sounds really, really sad. And then from the E minor, we're going to be going to an A major chord. Play A major. First finger goes to the D on the second fret, second finger on the G string second fret, and third finger on the B string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the A, we go back to E minor. And then we go back to A, and then we go back to D, and then from the A we'd be going to the D, and more D, and more D, and more D, and then E minor, A major, and then a D, and at the very end you could kind of stay on the D, or if you kind of dig on this, you know, we could kind of do a, a punctuation and kind of make it kind of a D to an A to kind of set ourselves up to start into our verse. Now a lot of times with a song like this though, to make it more interesting, I like using something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the D and just tried that a lot. You got down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So we can really use that pattern on each of the chords. And on that last D, if you want to kind of make a punctuation on that, so we could use that pattern on each of those chords, and if you wanted to kind of use that A to kind of point back at the very end, you could do the D with a down, a down, up, and then go to the A for a up, down, up to kind of help lead into the verse. So we tried that through our intro chorus. D down, up, up, down, up, D down, up, up, down. into our verse part and our verse is kind of a variation where the second time through with the, with the four D's we just do three D's and then we go to a B minor chord and we play B minor normally you do this as a second fret bar second finger on the B string on the third fret third finger on the D string on the fourth fret and the pinky on the G string on the fourth fret if you strum all those together that sounds a B minor chord and it sounds really really sad now you could kind of lift off the pinky and make that a B minor seven chord or another way to play the B minor, if you want to avoid the, the bar chords, is you can do first finger on the A second fret, second finger on the G string second fret, and the third finger on the high E string second fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that's another way you could play B minor. So you have a B minor seven chord. So we tried that through our next verse. And we have our D down up, up down up. that we'll be going into our chorus part. So on the chorus, something else that I like to add to a song like this too is bass notes. And a lot of times on that first down of the down, down, up, up, down, up, you can throw in a bass for the chord. So on the D, you'd have the D for the bass. On the E minor, you'd have the low E for the bass. And on the A, you'd have the A for the bass. And on the B minor, you'd have the A string for the bass. So bass, down, up, up, down. So we try that next chorus with bass notes. We have D with the D bass, down, up, up down feel the D bass down up up down feel the D bass down up Down up, up down, feel the bass down up, up down, feel the bass down up. 
here, then we'll be going into our next verse. Now, another way you may want to play around with it is just doing eight downs on each chord. And if you kind of take the flat of your right hand, you can kind of get a muted quality out of the string that way. This will be a little bit sneaky, but it can be kind of cool to mix it up too. So we tried that through that next verse. We'd have D, 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 E minor, A, E minor, A, D, 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 B minor, B minor, A. that can also be very cool for us to mix it up. So if we kind of go into the next course, you really could use any of those ideas we've been talking about. So we'd have to D down, up, up, down, up, or bass, down, up, up, down, up, or down, 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 down. Jump through Chapel of Love by the Dixie Cups. So, good luck!